Hi, I'm Mark Ross. I'm a professor of systematic theology at Erskine Theological Seminary. In this season of the year, the church has many opportunities to talk about its gospel message. We actually get an assist from the world round about us that talks about Christmas or other things like that that just open the doorway for us to bring our message. And what a glorious message it is because it is the story of God becoming a man. Anselm wrote a great uh, treatise in the Middle Ages entitled Cur Deus Homo. Why God a man? Why did God become a man? John's Gospel in the prologue reflects upon this. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him there was not anything made that was made. And later John goes on and he said, And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have beheld his glory, glory as of the only begotten of the Father. This is the, the time of year when we, one might say, are invited uh, by our culture and by the world to talk about this glorious message of God becoming a man. And why? Why? He came to save his people from their sins. At his birth, the angelic choir shows up to sing for just a few shepherds on a hillside uh, outside of Bethlehem. And they sing glory to God in the highest. Glory to God. Why? They, they see the Son of God, whom they have worshipped in glory. They've seen him lying in a manger, taking human flesh upon himself and knowing that he has come to save us from our sins and so they see the glory of god in it and that is the message that we are able to celebrate at this time of year i and several of my colleagues on the faculty at erskine theological seminary are going to address ourselves to the question why did god become a man cur deus Homo, as Anselm asked. And we'll look at it from the point of view of the Old Testament, the New Testament, uh, from church history and systematic theology to see how the church has gathered together around the glory of this message of Jesus Christ taking on human flesh that he might save his people from their sins.